right, so season one, episode three yeah. of Moon Knight. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck happened in Moon Knight? So he woke up in Cairo. Yeah. And he's going to find the sca- No, not the scarab. Harrow. He's going to find Harrow where, where the Harrow. dick site was at. So he was chasing mm-hmm. this motherfucker, motherfucker on the roofs on some Assassin's Creed type shit. And yep. then the dude that he was following got shanked. Like, yeah. And then he, this nigga fell. And hey, then uh, <laughs> I need to talk to that guy. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, then these niggas yeah, was about so, to fight him and they was all dancing and shit. He was like, we go dance, we go fight. Like, <laughs> like, looking at the blade right, and shit. Like, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> well, yeah, now that there's proof that there's a third um, personality. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he fighting the dudes on the roof and he was like, you did this, Stevens? He was like, no. He was like, I didn't do this. So like there's a I think I think whoever I think he might have been in the first episode too because when, when uh, Mark was fighting the guys on the roof he was fighting them but he wasn't like automatically just trying to kill him kill him so he might not be the violent personality that's actually like killing people <laughs> that might still be the other guy mm. hmm. that might be the dude who killed all the people that was surrounding him shit oh we'll see we'll see okay and what happened after that so they was at the dick site then what. Uh, what was it? I guess Mark couldn't find out where they were digging. So, um, Conchu came up with this idea, like, oh, okay, let's, let's try to put this nigga in jail. So he snitched. <laughs> it's the good yeah, so they can pull the six nine. All, yeah. <laughs> all, all the guys together, all the, 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 the council of guys are trying to show them, yo, oh, he's wild and we need to intervene in this. But basically they didn't believe him and shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we do have confirmation there are other guys and they have their own avatars on Earth. Mm-hmm. We'll see how that plays out and other stuff going yeah. forward. I don't know why they wasn't helping with Thanos. So it's like snapping away lives and shit, but <laughs> who knows? <laughs> None of this makes sense. I don't give a fuck about shit, bro. <laughs> I mean, I guess until now. <laughs> but yeah, but um, Contru, he did that by like making an eclipse during the day when it wasn't supposed to be or something or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So the like, hey man, you keep interfering with stuff. We're gonna fucking turn your ass to stone. Like, <laughs> yeah. he was and then, so then, uh, he marked me. I forgot how they meet up, but they meet up with, um, he meets up with his wife, and there's like, um, I guess he might have information on finding another way to find where the tomb was. Mm. Um, so we go meet some, I don't know who, how she knew that dude. I guess that she used to work with him or work for him. I guess she's she, a like, relic hunter or some shit, right? Yeah, she still sh- shit from the, you already stole it and like basically she's like kill Margaret female like where'd you get this stuff from you know mm-hmm. it was already stolen um <laughs> she did, doing that shit and the dude that um in this episode is the dude that died that we had talked about a few years a few weeks ago back mm-hmm. the dude that got um the dude that was on the horse i think yeah. that's the guy that died yeah like the prince dude i don't know if it was a prince but like the boss guy I think that's mm. the guy that died. Remember you talking about the guy who died in the skiing accident? Harold? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and I think in the comic books, the character he was playing is like a, a, a major, I don't know, major, but like a main Moon Knight villain. But mm. that's why at the end of this episode, I had rest in peace for that guy. Cause I think it was, Got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Shit. So what they do, they found, uh, it wasn't a mist tomb. It was, it was a, sarcophagus of somebody but then yeah. uh it was like well like, like a map like yeah i think it was a map there that they had to uh fold together to uh find out the uh the star chart but the stars was the same today than it was what like ten thousand years ago or some shit like that yeah it was something wild <clears throat> so basically what they had to do was they had to uh Kanchu had to basically just fucking rotate the whole fucking sky. <laughs> yeah, he was time in that yeah. spot. I remember the I remember the night. I remember that night and he just like moved all the stars to that day. Yeah. I remember every night. Yeah, I remember yeah. every night. I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we did that shit with uh Moon Knight helping and the guys got, got upset. They was like, all right, they about to turn this nigga to stone. So they just turned this motherfucker into a little fucking action figure. <laughs> I thought they was talking about like a statue or something like that. He just put moments yeah. like a little yeah. six inch toy. Yeah, paperweight. Yeah. <laughs> I heard the nigga do a paperweight. G.I. Joe and shit. Oh. <laughs> Kung Fu grip. Like, damn, nigga. <laughs> but you know, I was I was I was talking to Hesh about this before uh we even started. Um I was looking up on uh, how I met looks, and this nigga looks like a gator mixed with a whole bunch of fucking animals, right? And I'm I'm 
I don't know. It's it just thinking like how how the MCU is. This this shit would be some funny shit if they did this. I think it's gonna be that Gator Thor. Well, not mm-hmm. uh, the Gator Loki, like the, the Gator Loki. You remember that shit from the Loki show? Mm-hmm. Like it'd be funny if it was that motherfucker. <laughs> like, it was that Gator Loki? Because <laughs> I don't think he died, right? He ain't died. Oh. No, they just left He's him alive. in the, the world before world. The world before. No, they, no, they escaped actually, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know where they ended up. Yeah. I mean, so it's I'm, not going to be him, but I don't know. It's yeah. just, it's just like a thought. It's like, why, why it end up being? I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if they just bought out that fucking Gator Loki. I'd be like, <laughs> like what the fuck? Oh, because I'm trying to envision how this shit is going to look when you actually see it. I was probably just gonna be like a person. Like, you ain't gonna make it like look how it actually looks. Oh, well, you don't think you look like a gator and tiger and lion mixed together with with a hippopotamus ass? Nah, that's just, <laughs> no. <laughs> it's just gonna be some chick named Linda. Let's like, <laughs> like, say Kanye's lonely as shit. He is. Like, <laughs> that nigga's Joe Budden. <laughs> yeah, why Joe? Now, that's I don't know. <laughs> now, Mark and Steven are working uh, together more than in the first two episodes. Yeah. Now, now they realize that they need each other way more. Um. Am I bugging it or does the wife seem to like Steven more than Mark? Yeah. Like, Even though he's the same nigga. Tick, tickling my fancy. <laughs> yeah, they know. They just look the same, but they have different personalities. Personalities, yeah. yeah they got the same interests. Yeah, because, you know, he's into Egyptian history stuff, and so is she, obviously, because she was, like, stealing shit. Mm. Um, <laughs> yeah. And, and they had the same favorite author for the poems, remember, in the first in the, in yeah, the they apartment? Got that, they got the yeah, sapiosexual shit going on. The mines, the mines getting her hot. Oh, you just used a word, word I never heard before. What, sapiosexual? Uh-huh. <laughs> you know what a sapiosexual is? Why would I know that? <laughs> <laughs> you know that? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm just saying. I just said sapiosexual. This was confused as fuck. (laughs) (laughs) It's just a person who finds intelligence sexy. That's that's all it is. Uh, uh, (laughs) Like what? (laughs) Yeah, I was like, what the hell? (laughs) Speaking Mandarin, but uh, (laughs) (laughs) but yeah. Now, how is this dude day. able to fool the guys like that and uh, get them to still? Um, so first they they went to the council and the guys asked Mark if he was unwell and he admitted that he was unwell and he tried to tell the truth about Harold or what's his name? Yeah, Harold. 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 Try to tell tell the truth about him, but he somehow swayed the guys into believing him. Like who 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 really is Harold? <laughs> I, I well I think well he well first off he used to be Conchu's avatar. So mm-hmm. I guess they already they already have um he started with that yeah a history with him already they know him as a person, and then two um when Mark came in there he didn't have any proof so yeah. first off he didn't have any proof he just said Harold's doing this thing where he couldn't he couldn't he couldn't he couldn't prove it, and then on top of that he was like oh and on top of that your brain is all fractured and whatnot so then even if you might be like delusional shit so you might not even be seeing anything that you think oh he got him on a technicality oh yeah pretty much <laughs> no proof got him off like a white girl. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now, uh, what happened at the end of Moon? Now that was it. Um, oh, Harold, he Harold was just talking to Unconscious uh, when he was yeah, yeah. talking to the statue. Yeah. yeah. And the only other thing that happened was we got um a little bit more on Mark's past. Apparently, he had killed some archaeologists or whatnot, and that might be his wife's um. Father, father, which is, which is why she was asking. He was like, "Man, KG and she doesn't know it. So we'll mm-hmm. see what happens with that. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. 